Hey guys, what's up? Keith Mitchell here. And the other day, well actually two days ago, I talked about the new native support within Steam that allows you to add DualSense controller support to the client. And the other day, I got wind that there was going to be a brand new update coming out for the client, which would go ahead and enable the trackpad, um, the gyro functions, and also the rumble. And that update was supposed to go out yesterday, but it didn't. However, the update went out today. As a matter of fact, I think it went live maybe an hour or so ago. Not exactly sure, but I want to go ahead and show you the new discussion about this. So, I wonder if it's in here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to do that. You know what? I'm just going to show you what exactly is happening here. So, we'll go to my library. We'll go to settings. We will actually disconnect the controller. So, you actually get to see what's going on here. So, pay attention to the upper right-hand corner. So, we go to general controlling settings. And if you remember my last video, when you hooked up the DualSense controller to the PC with Steam running, it would show the DualShock 4 image. Well, now, with the brand new update, that has all changed. You actually now have the DualSense actually appearing like it's supposed to. Ta-da! Not only do we get that, we can identify it. And you hear that? It's rumbling. Look at it, watch the screen. The rumble is there. It's rumbling, so we've got that. We can calibrate it now. This wasn't here before. Which is cool, we can do a start full auto calibra cal uh, calibration, which I can't talk, or uh, push joystick left, push the left joystick to a side leg go, you have a different time, you tend to press. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna touch that, I'll leave that alone. Um, we also have the ability now, we can actually change the light on the controller. As you can see, as I'm changing the light within Steam, the controller light is changing with us. That was not in there the other day. And again, we do have rumble. Also, we start it up. Okay, I hit it once and it closed. So when I hit it again, it'll, there we go. Steam is opening up. And you can get the controller back in your face. I, my mouse went away. It said the trackpad functionality is there, but I'm not getting it. I probably would need to calibrate it. Let me see. But, oh no, it's there. It's just being very weird. Okay. So that's launch a game. We'll launch Tekken. Actually, no, we can't launch Tekken because I don't have it. Do I have it installed in this machine? I don't have it installed in the machine. I have it installed on my other machine. So we'll do some Street Ray 4. Give that a second. But this is actually really good to see that they added this support so fast. It was just, sorry about that. It was just the other day that we just got the native support and now we actually have rumble support and the gyro support in the game. Though I don't have a game that supports, or, or that I need gyro with, so I can't really test that out. But it's good to see that, oops, I hit the button again, that we got this. You know what I probably did when I didn't calibrate it? I broke everything so configuration support disabled configuration support for the playstation 5 controller disabled playstation 5 controller support must be enabled oh so there's so we actually actually have to go to an option now to do that okay well that explains a lot so let's see here controller settings PlayStation configuration support. Yeah, now I added the PlayStation 5 to it directly. All right, we'll, we will do that. We will do a full, oh no. Push it just to the side and let go. Pressure different direction each time. Not sure why it made me do that again. All right, now let's try again. Oh, there we go. 
There's the trackpad. It moved it away though. Yep, it's picking up everything like it's supposed to now. So that's good. Let's see, if we got Rumble though. I don't remember if Streets of Rage had Rumble. Nope, there we go. We got Rumble in game, baby. Nice, nice to see we got Rumble. So yeah, that's uh, that is native support. And I guess you'd actually need a game that actually supports the trackpad or the touchpad. But this is great. This is, oh, you know what? Is dirt installed? No, it's on my other machine. I don't have many games on this one. I don't game much on this machine. I use the other one. Mm, I don't want to fire up Dark Souls for obvious reasons. I'll be playing that and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to stop the video here. We, again, do have full support for the DualSense controller now. We can actually change the color bars. We can enable the rumble as we're doing right now. We can change the name. We can disable or re-enable the rumble. Um, and gyros in there. And touchpads in there. I just, I'm probably doing something wrong. So, there we go, folks. It's in there. It's done. I think the only thing we're missing now is the haptic, and I don't think that's going to be something that Steam or Valve can get into the to the client. Maybe they can, but remember, everything they're doing right now is not officially with Sony. Sony is not working with them. They're doing this on their own, as is the gentleman who's working on the DS4 Windows for the DualSense controller. So we may not get haptic. We may, maybe we will, but then again, it's going to depend on the developers, the programmers of these games, to enable that within their games. So that's a big if, but I'm just happy to have official native DualSense support within Steam. That's great. Now, if only Sony would get off their ass and give us native support for Windows. But for now, this is a good starting point. Again, this only works for games that are loaded out of Steam. Okay, keep that in mind. And as always, if you like the content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments regarding this, Drop a comment below as you saw when you people were having issues with the configuration. I made another video showing how to do it. So I don't have any problems dropping some knowledge to help you out, my fellow PC gamer. So leave a comment. That's the only way I can know if you're having issues. And again, thank you for watching. I'm glad this is in there as I drop that to the floor. Love this. Look at that. Go, controller, go.